Right, welcome back to the channel and welcome to everybody that's joined the live stream. No one yet, that's fine because I, I was late but I think everyone's later than me. Welcome to the channel. So I'm going to use the same process as I did the last time, which is I'm using the fill light on my my phone. So I mean a little bit of um, reflection but it does give slightly better light in. So we're going to things first the usual process I am going to one connect the Wi-Fi out here in my shed a quick speed test see what we get as long as we get something over 60 we're probably doing okay um, as I've said in all my previous videos over there up here I have a camera on a mobile phone that's currently discord streaming so I need a bit of capacity for that and also a bit of capacity for this so that looks good. So what we'll do is we will turn the brightness down a bit. I think it's very bright. I think I might be playing this outside. We're going to do a bit of moonlight. We'll do that straight away. The first thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to go just check and make sure I've changed my video bit right down at 20 megabits. I have. And the resolution is set to 1080p. And the frame rate will be set to 60. So that's good. Right, so, we'll go to the remote desktop. And as usual, we're using Play Night, which I have really grown to like. And unfortunately, my um, <laughs> my catalogue of games has just got bigger. I haven't installed every game I've got, but I have been installing more and more and more of them, I have to admit. Oh, what's this one along here that hasn't been set up? I have developer tools. I could take that off, that's fine. I did put XCOM on recently, but what I did do is I've installed a few Xbox based games. So if I go to library and go to Xbox, we should have. I think, yes, we've got Flight Simulator, so I'm going to record a bit of footage for Flight Simulator. Um, I'm making a, a video up on that for a member who spotted an old YouTube short that I made ages ago on the. Uh, what was it on the um, 400 U powered 1x player? So I thought I'd make a new video for that. So I'm going to do a little bit of footage from this as well. Got the Hi Fi Rush. I think I played that before. Power Rush Simulator. My son said this was a really good game, nice and calm. And I thought I'd maybe try and give it a go. Try a little bit of Snow Runners. So it's, um, it's kind of tricky. But we'll maybe come back to that. But what I do want to try tonight is a game by. Curve Studios, I think it is. One of their earlier games. And it's called... If I can remember this correctly, it's called... I can't remember. I'll have to find it. Something fistical, I remember. It made me chuckle when I saw it, so I thought I'm going to get that. And it's a... Kind of vampire survivor type game. You run about and you just got to try and stay alive, pretty much. And I only tried it for the first time yesterday. And it wasn't very good. It's, uh, it's quite hard. Yeah, I did have a few issues with it, which I've now resolved. There you go. Iron Fisticle. <laughs> so. What does it say here? It says, Iron Fisticle is a challenge. Twin stick, twin stick shooter that requires reflexes, speed and quick thinking to master. But well, I hadn't mastered it yesterday, so. And uh, it's, um, it's 5 99 or 4 99 on Steam. But. Over at my buddies at Green Man Gaming, this game is 92% off right now. And you can pick it up for 49 pence in the UK. So that's going to be, what, under a dollar in America? Well under a dollar. Um, and it's it's from 2014, I think, this game is pretty old. But you know, it's under a buck. So I'll put a link in the description if anyone's interested. We'll launch this game. The only issue I had was, because it's so old... It didn't want to scale properly for me. And the reason it didn't want to scale properly for me is because I'm running... Because I run this on 7-inch and it's a, a PC indoors. Um, I run it 1080p, but it would, the text would look tiny. So I have the, the text scaling set to 150. And the game is massively scaling up and going off the screen. So um, I'll get the volume down a little bit. Um, very basic game. And options. And video, what was happening was it was... Um, 
said full screen, I think, and it was this one actually full screen scaled and it was scaling off the screen. So, uh, oh, that's not so good, reduced bit rate. But I went into the actual application settings itself, you know, right clicked on the exe file and told it to run in compatibility mode and ticked a few other things on it. It's working great now, it has to be said. So, um, let's have a little go of this. So you do two player version of this, that's pretty cool. So, uh, as you can see, I've not even graduated past floor one yet. So we'll leave it in standard and we will just try. See so a little cutscene, which we shall skip. So there's your wee guy, and you move one stick to left stick to move your guy around, right stick to aim. Oh, I've already killed myself. Oh. I'm not very good at this. Keep losing my bearings. <laughs> that lasted long, didn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit sniffy now. I just uh, sneezed a moment ago off camera and didn't help much. Oh. Oh, I've already upgraded my guns. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, that was short-lived. Dear, got latency there. Now that's absolutely at my end. Hurry, what? No, oh, what I'm there. Nope. Looks like he's able to shoot me. Get ready for exit. Come on, let's get to that exit. Oh, no! <laughs> as you can tell, I haven't read the instructions in this game. I don't even think there is any. You just try and stay alive and get to the exit. I think I understand what I've got to do now. I feel I'm blocking the speaker there, eh? That again. Oh, you really can't fit through gaps easily. Those guys are really hard to take down. Oh. <laughs> That's why I hadn't realised I was taking damage. That's a shoot at you. Oh, starting again. That's not good. Slow bit rate. I may actually reduce my bit rate and just see if that helps me. Oh, what's going on here? Ah, right. So you don't get the key. You don't get the key until you've killed the basic first level guys. Okay. Now I always tell my son, games from the 80s were absolute nails. And that modern games are just way too easy. But you know what? This game's definitely not easy. So it doesn't help that these little uh, little guys are the same sort of colour as the... Uh...
Ah, there we go. So you can't take it as all guys. So yeah, so you just have to run to the exit. Go. Hoofed. So I guess I get to choose where I'm going. Shop or the bonus stage. Um, right. Oh. Oft. Oft. Oh, no, I'm going to have to look at this before we play too much longer. Fix this issue. With the stuttering. So I think I'll probably just reduce my bit rate down to maybe 15 megabytes, megabits rather than the uh, 20. It's currently around that. Been some discussion about that recently on the the Discord channel. So I will run it faster than that, but I think the issue here is not so much with the absolute, but with the um, my internet connection. Ah, I'm trying to hurry, I'm trying to hurry, I'm trying to hurry. Yes. Let's do this exit down here. Oofed. I think it was bleeding out. Oh, that was a 2D level. Oh, sweet. Oh, so I think it's a side scroller, but you've got to <laughs> you've got to stay ahead of the the room moving. So oh, I see we're bleeding out here. What's going on here? Well, this is definitely getting harder. I'm getting faster. Put that up, why not? What checks that? Do you think I should go to? This one's as good as any. Skin of my teeth. Oh, what was that all about? Whoa! <laughs> you don't get many lives, do you? Right, okay. This was my top tip game. For the weekend. Could you have more fun for less than a buck? Don't think so. Okay, let's exit this. I've seen this before where you come at a game and it doesn't want to respond. Well, not the way you were hoping it would respond. So I've mapped a button. It just takes it out of... Uh, Full screen mode and puts it in the desktop or in the normal mode, but we'll switch back to full screen mode now. So, what can we play now? In fact, you know what I'm going to do first. Cheers, everyone. Oh. Right, plug the play the I've installed Choo Choo Charles, which is a, a game that I, I got when it first came out. One of the few full prices I've ever paid for a game. It wasn't a very dear game, but it's actually quite fun. So I need to get back into that and complete the game. I was playing it online and just doing it as part of a live stream. Played it on two different handhelds over a couple of weeks. So was it three different? I think it had three chapters of it, as it were. Um, if you see any games in this that you think, oh, I'd love to see a video on that, just let me know and I'll do a video on it. It's not a problem. Um, I'll tell you what might be fun at the moment the Star Wars saga Star um, Lego Star Wars saga complete saga uh, it's currently on sale I believe on um, Steam so if anyone's interested get fingerprinted the screen's got already so oh, performing first time set up that will take a moment we'll let that just do its thing. I think this is a good example because the um, 
the absolute, you know, it's the sort of thing you could pass to your kids and not worry about them destroying your main PC. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean the screen a little bit because that's disgusting. So, the absolute, like I say, great little streaming device. I've let my kids play on this. They think it's pretty good. And my daughter doesn't like the sticks for some reason. And yet, they're the Switch style sticks and she likes playing on the Switch, so that's strange. My son, however, absolutely loves it. Um, and this is a DVT2 unit, so I don't need game, I think. Eh? Oh, in fact, maybe should have done a... Started off where I was previously. Let's do that. Let's go back to where I was. Quick game, yes. Because I've played a little bit of this before. The 2.7%. Wow. Not played much of this, have I? In fact, I didn't play it on this device. I played it on um, Steam Deck, I think it was. So, let's just go in. <laughs> I was going to say, let's just go in. And max up out all the settings. Oh, look at that. No, this must have been on my uh, Anbernic 1600 I was running it. So let's change the resolution up to 1080p. Oh, there we go. 60 hertz. Yep. Aspect from screen resolution. Enhanced graphics on. Oh, that's better. Now it's full screen. Oh, no, it's not. That's very strange. Oh, it's defaulted back for some reason. Why did it do that? Sixteen by ten. Okay. Oh, it's because I clicked revert. What a clown! Okay. Accept, and then this time, use the current settings. Oh dear, that's much better. Okay, let's go in here. Have I done this, this level? Uh, I think I technically have, so we're not doing that. Back of the clones, let's do this, not in this one. Ah, okay. So I've done this one. Huh? Okay, I'll we'll do one before you do the next year. Let's get on with this. But we're all enjoying that. Now back to some Hazy Jane.
How did I manage to do that? What's going on here? That was very strange. So I believe from Monday we might get some interesting news about the shipping of our Absolutes. So we do know from Absolute, who posted just recently, that they, um, they think they've finished, I think, the batch, or they should have finished by the end of the weekend. Amazing to see them working three weekends, so some work ethic that is. Um, well, they think by the end of the weekend they should be on top. I'm guessing that'll be the white ones initially. They had a big picture on... That they'd emailed out and showed everybody lots of um, partially assembled white units. So I've got a white unit coming, so I'm getting a little bit excited. Um, and they've also said that the build quality of the um, the units, the final production units, is far exceeds the DVT-2. Now, I think the DVT-2 is a, it's a decent unit. I had one sticky button, like I said at the very start. Um I wonder if I can actually do this for a reason. Oh no. Apparently I can't run around in a square. <laughs> Let's just wait until they're all done, shall we? Oh, I keep missing one. What a disaster. Oh yes, got there in the end. Oh cool. So yes, build quality is apparently much better. Now we were expecting, well they'd mentioned the buttons were getting a little bit of fettle in. We did know that the uh, there was going to be rubber added on the back here. I, I don't think it needs it, but you know I'm not going to um, complain about additional functionality so this is going to be uh, going to be really good to see so I'm kind of excited as you can imagine been a lo long old slog for the people involved must be said um, I've just been one of these fortunate people that's got to test the DVT2 you know I'd love to get involved in stuff like this again I uh, really enjoyed my time with the absolute so far Looking forward to getting a final production one, like I say. Um, you know, what's not to like? Powered by the Unreal Engine, so I think the graphic list should be pretty good. So we've currently got over 2,000 FPS in the menu. <laughs> I don't know if I've set any settings on this yet, so we'll quickly go through that, play this for a little while, and then I think I'll sign off for the night. Seems it's, um, what time is it? Almost 11 p.m. UK timing on a Saturday. Oh, I have played this game a little bit before. That's right. Okay, that's just... I think I played this game. Oh, yeah, I have. I remember these cutscenes at the start. Okay, so this probably is set up graphically. But we'll quickly go in and check to see what settings I'm running. I don't think it was particularly good at this game, but we'll give it a try.
it feels kind of car well, it's quite a cartoony looking game I think so feels cartoony as well in the performance where the heck am I going well over 100 FPS I'm not sure how old this game is probably not that new oh my goodness you can certainly go off trees in the trees anyway Hundred and fourteen FPS by looks of it. If I don't finish dead last I'll be happy. But like Forza in a way that you can go off track and get away with it difference in Forza is you can deform some of the terrain whereas the terrain whereas here you just you just stop dead when you hit a tree like that oh man I don't think there's much chance of uh, finishing anything other than dead last year it was extremely cartoony this not not a um, simulator at all and it's just oh that's too bright well it's looking on the camera but look can't even see where I'm supposed to be going I think I've ended up last again haven't I I have to find out what's happening with this brightness setting because the sand is so white I can barely see the screen. Okay, so I didn't finish last after all. Six out of eight. Mm. It's very bright though. It's hard to, hard to see the screen. But I didn't. Right, let's find someone else quickly. What can we try? I'm right on a racing game there, but I don't want to do that one tonight. We could try a bit of Midnight Club, no, they are, um, they are emulated, or not emulated games, they're PS3 games, Sony PS2 games actually, so we're not doing that. Maybe we'll try a Need for Speed game, I've got a few of them here. We've got Heat, we've got Payback, we've got Most Wanted, which is the older, oldest one there, Unbound, which is the latest one, which I was trying the other day. Um, Come on, let's try a little bit unbound. I keep clearing this, but I keep messing up the same corner of the screen. Going on here. This is launching, so we'll give it a little bit of time. Meanwhile, I'll just finish off this little can I've got here. One of the things I despise most about PC gaming, all these different launchers. Why do all these companies have to create their own launcher and then just do it so, so badly? It really is garbage. So I thought I'd loaded Need for Speed Unbound there, but apparently I've loaded Payback. 
Let's not complain. We will just play it for a little bit. It's a good one too. I have to say, I haven't played much in this one. In fact, was it Payback that was going to load? Oh, who cares? We've loaded a Need for Speed game and let's just enjoy it for five minutes. Oh yeah, it wasn't this one I wanted to play, but I think my son played this a little bit as well and he said it was pretty good. This is from 2017, so six years old. Okay, let's give this a go. Now, for those watching on the live stream, if you want to watch this again, with the edited down version, I will edit it down and stick it up on YouTube, probably on Monday at some point. I'll edit it tomorrow and I'll upload it on Monday. Those of you who have followed the channel so far, thanks very much. I really appreciate all the, the support you have given the channel. The channel's doing okay so far. Very close to hitting our target for watch hours for monetization. Still a ways off to get the uh, the viewer count. But we're getting there. And if you haven't already subscribed, consider doing that. That will help the channel. Um, if I get to the point of monetization, I will definitely be plowing any money I make back into the channel. Because it's just a little hobby, to be honest. I don't think I've set this up at all. This was on a different machine we were playing this, so let's just check the settings. So like I say, I don't think um, the channel will make much money, but that's not really the point. I'm doing this for mostly for fun. 1920 by 1200, that's a strange resolution. Let's set 1080. I'll leave Vsync off, just see what it can do. Motion blur is definitely going off. Graphics quality auto. Well, what will that mean then? We'll just stick it to high. That should be more than enough. Race available. Oh, what's this over here? A different road. Let's go over Oh, smash. That didn't work. <laughs> totally right, my little car there. What's that, 350Z? Yep. Or 240Z, it'll be it. Ouch. Jump at the top of this. Yeah, let's give that a try. That wasn't much of a jump, was it? 26 yards. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty bad. Can you pull a map up on this? Yeah, here we go. Let's just. Um, so a little race. I always want to like the Need for Speed games. I love Most Wanted, so I want to get get back into them. But I just, you know, I just find the time to get involved in these games. Eh? So, hmm. 
you shove it up that road there? Now we're good. Yowch. I have to admit, locking the um, frame rate definitely helps. This is this is um, fluctuating up and down a bit, so I think what we'll do when we get to the start of this race, just before the start, I'll just put the settings and I'll lock it to 60 because I think it'll feel a little smidgen smoother. Should absolutely stay locked to 60 if, if I've not picked settings too high for this. I wonder if I can change uh, huh. Right, let's see. One race and then I'm off. Look at these nice cars, look at my piece of shit. Oh, that's no Volvo, so it's not that great, but... Yeah, that's probably lucky I have a piece of shit, because I can't drive for toffee, can I? Really? You're going to make me go back to that checkpoint that I missed by about a foot? Absolutely terrible! And no rewinds. Yep, that's Forza Generation for you. So I'm not doing so well tonight with the old driving lark. I wasn't very good in gravel. I'm not proven to be very good in need for speed payback. No chance of me catching anyone, is there? Try and see if we can restart. Aye. Okay. It's the only way that's going to happen. I want to finish on a high tonight. I want to win a race. Let's beat Paul in his Volvo with nothing else. More like it. I 
think we're staying ahead this time. Miles ahead. Maybe not crashing into quite as much stuff, we've got better follow my lead, but okay. This guy's voice reminds me of someone. Sounds like V, I think, from Cyberpunk 2077, doesn't it? Now I just want to get this new car so that I can save and quit with something better than this old Datsun. Oh dear. But do I really deserve it? <laughs> Not with driving like that, I don't. Now I can't blame any of this driving on latency because there is none, it's just it's just my driving's the issue. Why is it always a BMW? And I've driven two feet and crashed it. Why did I think I could drive through there? Most of that, press the E button for handbrake without thinking, but that's my boost button, isn't it? Oh, I keep forgetting what's the road to drive on. I'm not in the UK now. I'm driving in America land. Where all the roads make no sense. Yes, all of the shop. Ah, I'm on the wrong side of the road again.
Okay, I'm going to start this race, but I'm going to sign off. So I may be racing, but I'm going to tilt the screen up so I can see it properly. I'm going to enjoy this, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye for now. <laughs>
Hey, he can white coat those guys. That's cool. Oh, what? Oh, so rough. <laughs> Look at the state of my car!
Drunk interviews. Three good drifts, Jesus, can you do one? I think there's no draft. It's just junk. So one, that'd be good. Maybe we should just do what it says. Keep the throttle planted and just turn. It's not very good, but... That was a good drift. Right. That's how it works, is it? None of those were drafts, they were all just crappy donuts. I will take that. This thing's terrible. It's not.
that's it. Just press the drift button. Oh dear, be a target score, there's no chance of that. I made the target, but it was terrible. Guys, why are you still watching this? I signed off ages ago. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.